Now, this Sunday, April 1st, is the deadline for the government to put new plans in place for supporting children with complicated needs in England. The minister responsible has told this programme it is on target. But we've learned that a third of councils have told the government they can't afford to pay and there are serious concerns about funding. Jamie Cubbin has more. Every parent in this room has a child with additional needs. Every parent here believes those needs aren't being met. You've just had to fight and fight. I've and had fight. to fight and fight and fight and fight and keep on fighting. Many parents say without the right support, their child has been excluded from school. On numerous occasions, to the point where I couldn't maintain my job. You've lost your job. Yes. You've lost your home. Yes. Because you believe your son wasn't getting the right support. Completely. Completely. And there are parents here who say they have paid a heavier price still. Just ultimately exhausted from years of caring for a child without adequate support, really. I was completely... Um, you had a breakdown. Yeah, I had a complete breakdown. Yeah, absolutely. There's no other word for it. I was completely... Um, com yeah, I was suicidal. Due to choose between different courses. But... The system which will be in place come April the 1st was designed to be so much better. Easier for parents, more support for children. Yet every parent is here in Hackney today for legal advice because of problems with the new education, health and care plans. How is it shaping up for April the 1st? There's real concern that local authorities are simply not going to meet the deadline of 1st of April to transfer children from the old system to the new system. And even where children have been transferred, across the new plans. There's a massive concern about quality and some of the plans that I've seen have been very rushed and are really no improvement at all. With a special needs statement, these proposed cuts directly affect me. There have been protests here in Hackney because of 5% cuts to send budgets with the real risk of more to come. Parents say they are fighting for their children's rights. And it's a fight with you guys. Well, I'd like to say that actually it's a fight that we want to work with the parents, work with the children on to actually take to government. Hackney Council has seen a 34% increase in the number of children requiring statements and yet funding is still frozen at levels going back to 2011. That just can't be right. Thank you so much. Now the Department for Education has told us that almost a third of local authorities in England have written to them to say they will not be able to pay for their SEND children under a new funding system which comes into force in April. I have pledged to you that I will continue to look at the statistics to understand why a handful of local authorities are having problems, the minority. A third of local authorities telling you they cannot meet their obligations is a significant sum. It might not be a majority, but it is a huge number. The majority of councils are coping. We are investing. We're not cutting. We're investing £6 billion by 2018-19 in special education needs, needs and disabilities. No cuts for SEM! There is more money. But there is far, far more demand. Hackney is just one of many organisations which have written to the government to say this is a crisis. And Jane's here with us now. Jane's really interesting hearing kind of terminology around this. Yeah. Uh, so the minister there describing as a handful, yeah. uh, you correcting him saying this is a third. This is a third. lot of people affected. You, yeah. Your case study was in Hackney, wasn't it? But yeah, yeah. it's all over the UK. Yeah. So th let me explain a bit more about this third of the councils that have written to the government saying we can't afford to make hands meet. So this new funding formula for schools comes into place <coughs> in <coughs> April. Now, in the past, this government have given money to local authorities for schools and they did what they, what they wanted to with it. Now they're going to give money to schools and say, this is for early years, this is for the core education, and this is for the high needs block. That's the important bit. In the past, they used to be able to rob Peter to pay Paul, move money around all of this to top up that high needs block. This is going to become more difficult in April. And so a third of these councils have written to the government saying, we have shortfalls. We still need to rob Peter to pay Paul, otherwise we won't be able to pay our way for these children. We've tallied up those shortfalls for those local authorities. It comes to £160 million, so it's significant. But the, edu the, the minister there tells us these reforms are going really well. He also spoke about new plans to have 14 special schools across England. And this is good. It's going to look after about 1,100 children. Good, because demand is rising. However... By his own figures, we need at least 8,000 spaces in special schools over the next five years. So on paper, 
These reforms are really, really good. When they work, they work really, really well. But the problem is this, patchy implementation across the country and hard cash, and that's why we keep looking at it this year. Okay, Jen, we'll leave it there for now. Thank, Thank you very much. You.